what up, YouTube? So, as you seen last time, we was up in the junkyards getting fenders. So, what we're doing is I'm doing a conversion on the Magnum. I'm doing a charger front on the Magnum. So, the process of that is you got to combine the Magnum fender with the charger fender. So, as you can see, I cut. This is actually the Magnum fender. I cut off the Magnum fender, this piece. And that's the front of the charger fender on the table. Excuse my workstation, but this is all I have. <laughs> so... So now, I gotta get this all fitted up to be welded in. So let's cut the shape, let's cut the size. So right about now, I'm about to, you know, get it clamped together, then I'm gonna start welding. And I, I explain the process in that. This is my first time doing something like that. I'm no professional. I don't even really know how to weld. It's gonna be my first time welding too. So it's a learning process, so we're gonna all learn together. So, um. I get back to you once I get it um, all mocked up. All right, guys. So here we go. I got it all mocked up. So I got the seams looking real nice and fitted. You know what I mean? So if you can right, see, see that, when get here. it's fitted real good. I'm about to start welding that up. Um, I got a gap here, but I think I'm just going to fill this with a little piece. And I should be all right. But so far, so good. Like I said, it's my first time doing something like this. So, it's a learning process. I'm gonna put a couple tacks and I'll show you what it looks like after that. All right, let me get some weld time, man. Let me get some. All right, that little brace at? What y'all doing right here? Oh, tack, tack, and tack welding. They, they say they tack welding right now. This is the rough cut right here. Sure. Gotta get it together. Before you know what I'm saying, get to the good stuff. Don't look yeah. at this pretty rough stuff. Look. I got my eyes about to start burning. Let me know I close, but not really because I close my eyes. Yeah, I don't know what that looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you got it good. You got it good enough. Yeah, that one. That one. It's too small though. You gotta go a little bit bigger. Wanna go bigger than that? Yeah. Make sure you go a little bit big. Don't go over that one though, cause that shit is too small. Go next to it, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nope, nope, you got it. It's a process, but it's gonna get done. It ain't the prettiest job, but. Hit it, hit it, hit it again. Nope, hit it again. Right here, you can hit it. Hold on. This is about to turn beauty into the beast. Y'all gonna see. Yeah, yeah. Hit it. Yeah, like I said, this is my first time doing this, so excuse me, it's probably not right. But... Mm, I don't know, like, doing good. Hey, let me grind that down real quick. You doing good. You doing good. You see that? You doing good. I'm gonna grind it down. Dude, yo. That shit hurt, B. Oh my god, yo. It's working. It's holding, baby. It's holding. Yeah. What the hell I'm saying? We got like a lot of lumps. Yeah, but still. I mean, it worked. Yeah, filler. You gotta put the filler. That's all. Keep working, man. Sun and night. Get it right. Get, get closer every day. I'll do something with this. That lump. See that lump? Hammer. You got a hammer, 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 you got a but like I said, the Magnum slash Charger slash Chrysler is on its way. So we're going to continue working. And then we're going to show you the, um, well, we're not going to get finished today. It's going to take a couple pieces, a couple days, a couple weeks. However, as long as it's going to take, we're going to get it done. So like I said, we're going to get it to the working. Then we'll show you the final touch of what we finished today. Then show you the next part next time. 
The next day. All right, what up, what up? Here we go again, another day, early morning. So yesterday I got this fender pretty much welded up. Like I said, it's my, my, it's my first time doing something like this. So I mean, it's probably not perfect. I'm pretty sure it's not. But for what I'm doing, I think it'll work. You know, it's pretty straight. You know, it's gonna take some body work. I still gotta run some more tacks. I had a little accent up here. I was a little short, so I added in the piece. You know what I mean? So like I said, it's my first time. So you know, you when you're working on something like this, you're gonna have your mistakes. You just gotta work with it and make it happen. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the end product will be perfect, but you know, it takes work. Like I said, I'm a type of person that I'm not gonna go and just give somebody my money when I can probably do it myself. So a lot of you guys out there, you know, don't be afraid to work on something. Try something like this. Like this ain't no brand new car, this is an older car. You know, it's not, you know, it's not a, you know, $30,000 car, $60,000 car that I'm just playing on. You know, this is a cheap car, it's my little toy to have a little fun with. You know, and that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to have a little fun with it, build something different, and enjoy it. That's all I'm doing. So like I said, I'm doing the Magnum, it's called the Charging Conversion. You know, it's the Magnum with the Charger front. So right now, these are the fenders. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to, before I do any more work on this, I want to fit it up on a car. So I'll do that next and I'll show you what that looks like on the car. There you go. So this is my Magnum right here. It's an 05 RT 5.7. So, you know, pretty clean car. You know, I got it to do this job on it. So it's not a bad looking car. It's pretty clean. You know, I got some work going into this, you know. I ain't really do nothing to it. Got it pretty much as is. All I do is tint the windows. That was it. But it's pretty clean. Pretty clean car. You know, I got a little nicks and knacks. Like, you know, I guess about the only real damage on the rear quarter is about that right there. And that's pretty much it. So, the job I'm doing, I said I'm doing a whole little front conversion. Um, I got a Hellcat style hood for it. You know what I mean? So I got a whole bumper. I got this bumper I made for it. Custom bumper I made. It's a charger bumper, but I kind of styled it myself. I'll put that one in the videos later on. But excuse me on my recording. Like I always say, I'm not the recorder. I'm more of the, the do the work and not really much of a talker either. But, you know, I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. All right. So, yeah, just want to give you a little look at the car that I'm doing it on. All right. So now I'm going to get working on taking this front bumper off and that driver's side fender just for mock no purposes just to test to see you know what the fit looks like and then i go forward on the fender like i said i'll get back to you all right so here we go all right so i got the fender fitted I mean, it's a lot of work like i have to take off the whole as you can see i take off the whole front bumper just to test the headlight you know what i mean the fender but just to get it fitted but i'm real happy real happy on the fitment said now the only reason we got to do this charger fender like this is because of this body line i don't know if you catch that on the camera this body line that goes from the door into the fender then it like ends about right here so if you just to put the charger fender it'll bolt right on but it's gonna look odd so to do it right i watched a lot of videos i seen it, it wasn't a lot of videos on how to cut it i seen a lot of pictures and you know videos of some work being done but you know, nobody really went in depth on how, you know, how, how, how to do it. So, you know, I, I went off a couple pictures I saw, a couple little videos on YouTube, and, you know, and I just gave it my all. And as of right now, I think I did pretty good. That body line is pretty much dead on. You know, the fitment is great. You know what I mean? Right here, I gotta still do some work up here on this top area, but fitment is perfect. Like I said, I don't think I could've got it better than that for the first try. You know what I mean? So, like I said, it's pretty straight. Like, if you look down the line, it's pretty straight. It, I, I'm real happy with it. You know what I'm saying? For me, like I said, never doing nothing like this. And for it to come out this good on my first try, I'm happy with it. And I still got to do the other side. So now that I see it fits well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple more welds on this fender. Get it, you know, real sturdy. Make sure everything is structurally 
you know, stern. And um, after that, excuse me for the mumbling. Like I said, I'm not the talker, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, and I'm hoping this video help a lot of people out trying to do something similar. You know, they do a lot of you know the magazine with the newer friends too. I mean, it's the same process. You still gotta do that same fin the conversion. Like you gotta combine the old with the new. You know, so you know this will give you an idea like how I went about it. And like I said, I don't got nothing special. I got a cheap Harbor Freight welder. First time welding. Like I said, it's not pretty. I'm pretty sure that somebody out there do it way better than me. But like I said, for my first try, if I would've took this to the shop, they probably would've charged me $1,000 of fender just to do them. You know what I mean? That's not even after paint or nothing. That's just to do the job. So, you know, I'm, say, I'm trying to save myself money and actually, you know, learn something new at the same time and take it with me. Like I said, you know, any questions, hit us up. You know what I mean? I'll give you a little after the fact. I'm going to do some more welding now that I know the fitness well. And then after that, I'm going to do a little Bondo glass, cover up all this, you know, metal. So I'm going to show you the process on that. And then the body work, that's, that's, that's the next thing, doing all the body work, get everything straight, get everything looking good. Then, you know, off to the paint shop. You know, I don't know when that'll be, but, you know, I still got to do the other side. And same process. When I do the other defender, I'll definitely get back to you on that. But, you know, I don't want to keep rambling here. But, yeah, definitely happy with the fitment. I think it looks real good. It's going to be a nice look on this car. Since it's an older car, you know, you got to just do different things. And like I said, it's my fun little project. You know, I got this for this my fun. I just want them people that can't leave nothing alone. You know, get bored. I got to do something. You know, like I said, this is coming soon, too. We're going to do this. 67 Impala relaunch. This was a project I had a while back. You know, it was a 67 Impala in a 95 frame. Um, 95 LT1 motor. So the whole drivetrain is 95 Impala and the rest is 67. So, you know, I got a custom dash in here I did. I'm not gonna get too deep into this because it's a separate video, but you know, this is another project we're gonna be doing. So it's just nothing, you know, we just, it's what I do. I'll try to do something, keep my mind occupied and have fun. So that's the, that's the main part, have fun. Don't be afraid to try nothing and enjoy it. All right, so yeah, I said, let me just fit the hood real quick too, cause I just wanted to check out this body line right here. I want to make sure, you know, we was close. You know what I mean? So it fits well, but you know, so I'll give you a little peek of my hood too. You know, that's the Hellcat looking hood. That's a Charger hood, actually, this is a Magnum, so. Yeah, it's gonna look real good, man. It's gonna work real good. Yeah, so I just look. You know, I can't really fit it perfect because I still gotta do, I gotta get the charger um radiator support. Still need that. I still gotta move the headlight, the other fender. Like I said, I ain't get to the other fender yet, but like I said, it's my first time, so I want to make sure everything fits before I keep, you know, going on this fender. You don't wanna do all the body work on it. And next thing you know, you go to fit it and it don't fit. You know, so. Yeah, man, I'm happy with it, like I said. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, there we go. So now, I tacked up a little more welds. So it was sturdied up. So now, this is Bondo glass. It's maybe Bondo with fiberglass in it. So this would be like, I'm gonna probably put two coats of this, sand it down, knock it down. Then we'll go with just regular Bondo. So the Bondo glass is more like a waterproofing because this is yeah. bare metal. So you you know, you need something to waterproof the metal, so. That's why I put this first. Like I said, I've seen this on some videos. That's why I'm going with it. I ain't no body man either. Yeah, it's definitely so, looking good, man. I mean, it's it's there. Now it's looking real good. So what, what's the next process after so now this? After this, I'm gonna let this dry up. I'm gonna sand down real quick, quick sanding. Then I'm gonna put one more coat, a thin coat of some more Bondo glass. Then after that, sand it down again. And then on to the body filler. Yeah, that's looking real so, good, man. Right now we're in the body, the body working process. Yeah. So. Shit, it, it looked like it came like that, but if you didn't see all this, like you yeah. know, you don't want to call it imperfection, but you know all this stuff on here, like yeah. it was a one color. It looked like yeah, it, it looked like know. like it came that's, like that. That's the point. We're trying to get it to the point that you can never even tell. Basically, where it started and where it ended. Basically OEM, basically. Yep, that's they, what I'm trying to go for. When this is done, oh man, I can't wait to see this done with that Hellcat hood. And y'all ain't even see the front bumper yet. Oh yeah, I didn't pull a bumper. Yeah, y'all ain't even even pull a bumper out, and that one's belong on the Hellcat too. Yeah. This right. is this is made strictly from him though, by hand. Yeah, we good, yeah. 
Yeah, so we we gonna move into the next coat, and we gonna we gonna be back after that. Yeah, we'll do some sanding right now. I'm gonna end this video right here. Stay tuned for part three on how to change your magnum front to a charger. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, you know, all that good stuff. And turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I drop more videos like this. And you already know my slogan. If you got a Hemi flaunt it, if it ain't a V8, I don't want it. Peace.